I hope you are enjoying the learning experience with us. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy. In this video, we will be studying about the structure of budget. Means, the structure of budget refers to the components of budget. Means, what are the things that are comprised in the budget? So, it has two components. Number one is revenue budget. And number two is capital budget. Right? The revenue budget is further divided into the revenue receipts. and revenue expenditures whereas your capital budget is further divided into capital receipts and capital expenditure now we can look into the other way as well these revenue receipts and capital receipts we can call it as budgetary receipts and this revenue exp uh, expenditure and capital expenditure both are the expenditure so we can take it as budget expenditures So in this way, your receipts include two, your revenue receipts and capital receipts, your budget expenditure includes two, your revenue expenditures and your capital expenditures. So this is the structure of the budget. So let us do the capital receipts in this video. Now what capital receipts are? See, if government take loan, what will happen? government is getting money and if it, uh, the government is taking loan it is creating liability on the government now if a government is taking loan what is happening government is getting money to spend right because you take loan in order to fulfill your expenditures so government is taking loan and in the meanwhile it is creating a liability so the government is taking loan as a money to spend so these are the capital receipts of the government so we can write the capital receipts are those monetary receipts so we can define it as capital receipts are those monetary receipts which either create liability for the government that is if government take loans from RBI or from the general public what will happen the government will be liable to pay back but the government is getting money so this this can be the capital receipt but it is creating a liability for the government or cause reduction in the assets of the government Suppose there is a, a government unit, a government have sold that particular unit. So what government is getting after selling uh, the particular unit, the money. If you sell something, you get back the money on that part. Monetary terms, you sell your assets. So if the government sell any of its unit and gets money in return of it, so government is generating the receipts, government is getting the money, but in what sense? 
it is reducing the assets of the government because government is selling its asset and then getting the money on that part if you sell your home and get money so that is you are reducing your asset because you are selling your home but you are getting money on that part you are getting receipts so these are the capital receipts capital receipts are those monetary receipts which either create liability for the government or cause reduction in the assets of the government so these characters, uh, characteristics we can find it out that these create a liability for the government if the government take loans so it creates a liability these receipts cause reduction in the government of the asset of the government let's suppose if the government is selling its shares say of maruti udyog it causes reduction in the asset of the government so it is create, uh, treated as capital receipts the capital receipts are further divided into three types how the capital receipts are generated so these are the three types number one is recovery of loans number two is borrowing and other and other liabilities Number three is other receipts, other kind of receipts. So let's understand the recovery of loan first. One is recovery of loans. See, if it's bank and they are giving loan to you, then the loan which is given to you is your liability whereas it is the asset for the bank. Same in the case of the government. Loans offered, loans offered to others are the assets of the government because because government will get back the loan. So, if there is recovery of loan which means reduction in the asset of the government so this is the capital receipt that is if we, the government is given loan to someone and government is getting back that loan which means government is getting receipts government is getting money and recovery of loan causes a reduction in the asset of the government now government offers like central government give loans to the state governments or union territories to meet their financial requirements the second one we had was borrowings and other liabilities now if government is borrowing something which means the government is increasing the liability the liability is increased suppose let's suppose the government wants to take the loan so the government uh, reaches the RBI and, and takes loan but what happens the liability of the government is raised so we have uh, done previously that your capital receipts are either they reduce your assets or they increase your liability for the government so these are your capital receipts so in this way while lending creates assets borrowing creates liability your borrowing creates liability right so accordingly borrowings are treated as the capital receipt it may be uh, noted that the government borrows money from the public if you deposit any money into the government bank or the post office means the government is taking money from you and using it means the government is taking loan from you and they have to repay you back when you demand from the RBI 
or from the rest of the world that is the world bank or the imf international monetary fund or the world bank the government can take loans the third one is your other receipts see disinvestment now what is disinvestment disinvestment means a government is selling the assets their assets and getting money on that so government is getting receipt so disinvestment means if the government is selling the part of its assets so disinvestment occurs when the government sell of its shares of public sector enterprise to the private sector see the public sector is selling shares to private sector it involves transfer of ownership from public sector to the private entrepreneurs and this is called privatization we know that so money received through this investment if you are selling the assets you receive money the government receive money so the money received is treated as a capital receipt because it reduces the assets of the government if the government is doing in invest uh, this investment we means the government is selling their assets so it is reducing the assets of the government and the government is generating money from it so this these are known as the capital receipts of the government i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us